first copy of my book. You're seeing this within an hour of me picking it up. This is the hardcover uh, copy of it. It comes out on the 29th of July, and I'm super excited because I finally got it here. It's one of only a few copies that are out there at the moment because it's still a while before it hits the bookshelves. And I thought I'd just do a little video to share the moment and also to share with you a little bit of a, the analogy within the book as to, as to what it's about, the fact that there's a map behind all entrepreneurship. You know, I was here in New York a few years ago and that was when I decided, you know what, uh, you know, all the biggest books in the world get, get started from New York, they get published here, they become part of the New York Times bestseller list. Like, wh what would that be like? And I just started this whole process with a plan. Uh, lots of luck showed up on the way as well, as I've said in previous videos. But it was, um, it was the journey itself which started with this kind of thought. And the thought is what happens when you get lost? Uh, like the book The Million Mars Plan is about the fact that there's a map behind all entrepreneurship. And like a place like New York, it's a super busy place. And if there were no street signs anywhere, uh, if I'd never been here before, if I didn't speak the, the language, if I didn't have any idea of landmarks, it would be really easy, really quickly to get lost. And so that's really the whole point behind the book. Uh, it's about what, what do you do if you're lost? You find a map, you get a compass. Uh, in, in fact, the book is actually really interesting and it's very similar to actually this grid here in New York because you've got different avenues and you also have different streets in Manhattan. So if you, for example, are going to Fifth Avenue, 42nd Street, you can find your way there real quick just by looking at what street number you're on, going up or down, which avenue you're on, going east or west. Well, that's exactly what the book's about as well. We have these four geniuses, which are like the avenues. When you know which genius you're on, you know what path you're on. And then you have different levels, just like the streets, which go all the way from south to north. And when you know where you are, you can see exactly what the steps are to go to the next level as well. Without even having to look at the map, you already can intuitively know where you're going. And more importantly, uh, ask the right people for directions when you've actually got that destination too. So, uh, what the first thing, before you even get the book, which actually gives a test within it to find out exactly where you are on the map, is to know that everything today is really not about more information. I mean, have a, have a look at all of these different, uh, have a look at all of these different ads everywhere. You just can't take it all in. There's way too much going on. And so, if I'm looking around here and I'm looking at what do I, what should I buy? What should I, there's so much information. It's impossible. It's like trying to read all the books on how to be successful or, you know, trying to go out and take every opportunity. There's too much. It's overwhelming. But let's say, for example, instead I said, uh, no, I want to go out tonight and I want to go to the theater. What should I go watch? Well, then you can zoom right in to one series of ads, which will tell you exactly what you can watch and you can make your decision, right? It's the same with wealth. It's the same with our business. It's the same with our opportunities and what we want to achieve in life. Once you know where you are and once you know where you want to go, you can then get the directions directly to take you there. So where do you want to go? I just shared uh, my little uh, you know, goal of getting this book out and here I am now with this book and obviously it still needs to get published and sold, but uh, in terms of actually at least having it in my hands and being part on the way of the journey, that's just an example for me personally about something that I, I wanted to do, a place I wanted to go, and then just by constantly focusing at that uh, and putting different plans together to get there, um, I'm on that journey right now. Where do you want to go? And I'm not just talking about you want to have a book published or uh, you want to start a business. I mean, where do you want to go in the next 30 years? Like 30 years from now, where would you love to be? Uh, I, I just, it's funny, on the way from the publishers to here, uh, I actually just started reading the uh, book in the taxi. And uh, from there, the first chapter is all about where I wanted to go, which was to have a resort in a paradise island. And I was writing that when I was in Bali. And, and I now have new ambitions and goals of where I'd like to go in terms of what I'd love to achieve while I'm here on Earth. And I asked you that question as well. Where do you want to go in terms of the really big picture if you had to write it out and say, right, here's my future vision of where I want to be, what my life is going to be like, the impact I'm going to be having, what's going on with my family, and as you actually go down that route and you start thinking about that and you put that together, you have such a clear picture or you start getting such a clear picture of where you want to go that when you get the book and you find out where you are, then everything is simply about, well, how do I now get from where I am to where I want to go? And there's very specific steps, just like a map of Manhattan can get you from anywhere in Manhattan to anywhere else. It's just a matter of actually being clear on where that is uh, and actually making that decision to commit to getting there. So I just want to share with you that for me, this has been a very special day. Uh, for you, I really hope that today also, just by watching this video, 
gets you thinking about just that one thing. You might have already written it down. You might be at that point where it's kind of like, okay, I'm going to sit down, I'm actually going to write that out right now. Where is it I want to go? Uh, and one of the things that I share in the book, which I just kind of like give you as an upfront, is one thing that I do every year is I create something called a future vision. And the way a future vision works is it doesn't work from the point of view of saying, this is where I want to go. It starts from actually being there. Just like if you're going to climb a mountain, it's actually easier to see the way up when you're at the top looking down than it is from the bottom looking up. So I use the power of hindsight. Now hindsight, which is our memory, looking backwards is far easier than looking forwards. And I imagine myself in that future already. Uh, and then I also use the power of gratitude. Instead of saying, here's what I'd like to achieve, I say, here's what I'm grateful for having already achieved. And I basically write down every year a picture for the future where I'm actually in that place. And I kind of write it as a journal entry. Like for example, a year from now, where do you want to be? You write that down as a journal entry and you say, uh, you know, here's the date, it's uh, 30th of June, 2015. Uh, and I am so grateful for this last year because in the last year, here's the different things that I've experienced, here's the things I've achieved. And you actually write down what those things are one by one. Uh, I did that with this book. I said, I'm so grateful for the book having come out, become a success, impacted people within their lives and what they're doing. And how did that happen? Here's how it happened. Here's how I found the publisher. Here's how I got the team together. Here's how I supported the marketing. Here's the luck that showed up. All those different things hadn't happened at that point. But by actually looking backwards from where it did happen and creating that future vision, it became so clear to me what that vision was. It made it much, much easier to share it with others. And of course, from there, you'll be amazed at how many people are looking to support your journey once they know exactly where it is you want to go. Nothing that anyone wants to do more than help you, but to do that, you need to first of all be clear and actually let them become a part of that journey as well. So until next time, uh, thank you so much for listening to this and I will catch up with you on my next video.